proof that B.I.G. was a fraud. Part two on how Biggie stole his whole identity in another rapper's name and flow. Y'all ain't know Notorious B1 came out with his song before Biggie did with the same flow. I'm pretty sure Puffy had a lot to do with it, but y'all think I'm lying, but I'm bringing facts and calling me a hater because I'm bringing facts. Let's just be honest. It's something that you don't like. That's true about your favorite rapper. Roll the evidence. Since y'all wanted proof, here we go. Came out in 1993, Notorious B1. And I'm gonna play a sample for y'all. Roll that clip too. Just to keep dropping facts on y'all, Biggie's came out in 1994. So, like I said, facts. Ain't none of this hate. You can still like Biggie, but be real. The motherfucker done bit so many people, including Tupac, and we'll get into that too. But let's stay focused on this video for now. The packing ice and stuff. Now, honey's play me close like butter play toast. From the Mississippi down to the East Coast. It was like funny. And then, and then when Big say down the Mississippi up to the East Coast. Now, you look at shit like that and be like, yo, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Not to mention how Biggie shouts out Mississippi for no reason, right? Y'all just going to say it's a coincidence. Like, come on, man. I ain't stupid. Biggie's a biter. Straight up biter. Fit his whole style. Even Big Papa. He was called Big Daddy before Biggie switched his name. From, uh, from Biggie Smalls to Notorious B.I.G. and his nickname Big Papa. Straight up biter on everything. Wow. Now, that was my first time ever coming across that. Damn, I've never heard that before. Wow. So, see, uh, I always, I never thought that uh, Biggie Smalls was the best rapper, the one of the greatest rappers. I never did because he only had one album. You know, it's my opinion against y'all or whatever. I always, I always thought he was kind of mediocre. You know, the greatest rapper of all time. You know, he didn't put in enough work. That's what I thought. You know, I thought when he died, it became overrated a little bit. But damn. I wonder what happened to the other, the, the, the B1, whatever, the dude, B1. God damn. B, he bit his, he sound just like him. Like P. Diddy, I mean, hmm. He bit his whole so B.I.G. ain't original. That's just an act. See, you can't believe nothing in rap. And I know he was doing a lot of biting in the 90s, but god damn, he didn't bit his whole style. Like, what the so if this is true, and it's, damn, it's, the evidence is right there. I mean, this, we got to knock Biggie Smalls out of the conversation of ever being good at anything. Was he just a prop, a prop dummy or something? Because this is what, what it is. He copied everything. Is If this B1 is true. I mean, damn. I've never seen. I, I, this is my first time coming across this video. I'm a little shocked, y'all. Maybe I look need to look a little bit deeper into this. But this is a whole nother perspective that need people need to be looking at before they even call people the greatest of all time.
Now, I'm skeptical of that word, the greatest of all time. I, look, I, I don't think uh, Biggie Smalls put in the body of work yet to be considered the greatest of all time. I think they sold him to be the greatest of all time. That's another story. <laughs> they, they that was a sale, <laughs> right there. That was a. We knew Big wasn't the greatest. He wasn't the greatest of all time. He wasn't nowhere near. It was East Coast versus West Coast. They wanted they rapper that was the king, and the West Coast wanted theirs. That's the king. Who you know it was a fight over hip hop at the time, and people had to die for it. Lord rest his soul, B.I.G. But he's not even in the conversation of being the greatest rapper of all time. And if this pan out to be true, oh, man, which it is, a lot of evidence. It's a, it's a, a whole fraud. Y'all let me know in the comments. What y'all think about this?